nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. T plus 40 seconds to prepare for maximum dynamic pressure. We're hearing reports. Power and telemetry are nominal. Vehicle supersonic. You may have heard the call out on net one. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are throttling back up on power as we're Execute. through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. <laughs> Trajectory looking good. You can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure. Next event coming up is chilling of the MVAC D engine. Get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes. Merlin engine performance looks good. We've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads on the center core. Limiting shutdown. Continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration on the Falcon Heavy structure. Coming up on booster engine cutoff called BECO and separation of the two side boosters. And back engine chill. Boosters have begun the boost back burn. The center core has throttled back up to power. Everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy. The next major event, main engine cutoff of the center core and separation ignition of the second stage. Bottom metal view shows the view looking up into the nozzle of the second stage engine. Go. Main engine cut off, center core shuts out. Again, over the cheering, MVAC D engine up on power, it looks good. Side boosters looking good, still burning on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Grid fans are out on the center core. Right, separation confirmed. Here comes the fairing separation, and there it goes. We also have successful shutdown of the side booster boost back burn. So T plus four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. Side boosters on their way back to Cape Canaveral. Center court coasting Stage out over the Atlantic. Nominal. Stage two, looking good with a nominal trajectory. And as you guys have noticed, the grid fins have deployed on the side boosters as well as the center core. 
Those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing. You can see those heading home right now. As a reminder, today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later. Both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way Stage back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core, on the other hand, is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship. Of course, I still love you. If we have a successful landing today, the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission, STP-2. Now, coming up at about T plus six minutes will be the side booster's re-entry burn. Position of signal Bermuda. So you'll see the side boosters on your left and right screen. Side booster entry burn has started. And there's the re-entry burn beginning. Stage two trajectory nominal. And the re-entry burn is complete for the side boosters. And coming up in about 30 seconds, the center core, which you see on your center screen, will begin its re-entry burn. And there you can see the re-entry burn for center core has begun. Coming up in about five seconds here, the side booster's landing burn will begin as well. successfully recovered all three boosters, which we have never done before. Now coming up in about 20 seconds, we're going to listen for confirmation of Seco-1, or second engine cutoff one. 